Hello everybody, this is Prince Jaya Kenya and I'm doing fine. I hope you too, wherever you are watching me from, you are all fine by God's grace. So today I'm here to talk about how and where can you get a host. You know, that's a very challenging thing to many people. Like there is this lady that told me that she has not been applying for green card because she doesn't know anyone in America. And that is the reason to why she wonders, like, if I apply for green card, where am I going to in America? Whom, are, whom am I going to in America? Let me tell you, let me first elaborate one thing. Many people, other people, type of people, there are two groups of people. Those who know that to come in America, you need a host. And those that thinks that when you win the green card, America will give you a free house. America will give you a free job. And America will pay you all the expenditure, the ticket, and everything. But let me first advise and inform this, the second group that thinks America will provide everything for you. America does not provide house for you. America does not provide land for you or air ticket for you. America does not provide job for you. It's all upon you to find a person whom you are coming to live with here in America for a while before you settle on yourself. It's all about you to, fi to figure out how you will get your air ticket. It's all about you to come here and f find, find yourself a job. Though there are a lot of jobs like even my neighbor. Here to my neighbor they are hiring. Here, here too just they are hiring. But I have left this job and I'm going to find another one because there are a lot of jobs now you go with the job that you like or the jobs that have a good pay. So it's not about America to provide where you are coming to live here in America. You must have a host. So then you can't be given a visa without a horse because they they will go, gonna they gonna ask you who are you going to live with where are you going to live with you must need a horse and you need a horse and you need a horse and I repeat again you need a horse but there is this other type of group that now now in America I don't have any relative any friend in America. And I don't know how I can get someone in America. And so I don't know whether I can apply green card or you have a pride green card, but you don't have a host. That's why I have come here. So that we can talk, we negotiate, we discuss and see how or where can we get a host. Let me give you about my testimony. When I applied green card, I knew only one guy afraid to my brother who lived here in America. I thought that guy I thought that guy will host me. But the moment that I won Greek card and passed the information to him through Facebook, his Facebook account, he told me that he has he is hosting other two DV twenty twenty one guys. I don't know whether it's true or whether it's not true. That was just uh, a net choose for not hosting me. But I just accepted and decided now you know what? I gonna move on. Held high, I gonna keep my hope burning because I must get a host. Because there is no way I can be able to come to America without a host. And because God has made it for me to win, He will also make it for me to get a host. The idea popped up in my head that, that why don't I try posting in a, group, in a Facebook group, one of the Facebook groups that I was in for green card members. Because I could see some American people there. That maybe one of them might be interested to host me. So I posted my post there. But that is when I, I, as I was saying in one of the interview that I, I, I had with, in one, in, 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 one, in another channel, that the moment that I posted that I need a host, all the ladies just popped up in my inbox and told me, you know what? Because you are a single guy, please, I can assist you to, I can assist, I can assist you. I can host you, maybe some of the ladies who are here in America, others who are in Kenya. I can host you, but please carry my sister. Others who are in Kenya, they told me, my sister is in America, my brother is in America, my cousin is in America. But if you accept to add me in your DS260 or in your process to go to America, they, uh, my cousin can help us both. My sister, my brother can help us both. But you know what? I decided I'm going to not marry anybody, but God will help me get somebody who gonna host me for free and you know what later along i got someone who hosted me for free and he even he was a best guy i am not here to talk about how many things he helped me he had helped me 
to relocate here in America. He's a nice guy. So I want to talk to you who don't know anybody here in America. I want to talk you to talk to you who have never applied green card because you don't know anybody in America and you don't know where you will come here in America. Please take a step of faith. Apply that green card even if you know nobody. At least I, I used to encourage myself and say, I may not know anybody in America, but I know my God lives in America because God is everywhere. And if you believe in God, just apply the green card. Say that I do I know there is nobody of my my there is no any relative of me who lives in America. But I know one person who lives in America who is more than my relative, and that is God. God is everywhere. God is the one that created the earth and the heaven. So God is in Africa. God is in America. God is in Asia. God is in Europe. I used to tell myself, even if nobody hosts me, my God will host me. And you know what? The reason to why I was saying that is because I knew that in this world, or in this continent, or in this America, there are some kind people, but it will take the hand of God to connect you to those people. It will take the favor of God to touch the heart of those people to host you. Even if they are not kind people, those people that you think they are not kind, when God says they must host you, whether they like it or not, God will push them to carry your, your burden like it's theirs. And they will wonder, it will be like, how are we, how, 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 how are we going to commit another person, a stranger that I don't know about them, but it is the God's working. When God is working for your case, oh, let me tell you, it's so adorable and I don't know even how I can say about that. But back to the topic of today. So, if you don't know anybody here in America, please don't, let, let not that be an excuse for you not to apply green card. If you don't know anybody, you don't have a relative, you don't have anybody here in America, let it not be an obstacle or uh, uh, an obstacle or a hindrance for you not to to relocate here to America or to apply a green card. I also didn't know anybody. I also didn't know anybody. But right now I'm here in America. I was hosted by a stranger. That stranger has helped me helped me more than my relatives. So that stranger, he is a part he is more than a brother to me. Do you see? So I will I encourage you, apply for a green card with a hope that you will get a host one day to relocate here to America. There are some DB2023 that have applied green card but they don't know anybody here in America. So this is just some guidelines on where you can get your host. The first thing is the online platforms like Facebook. There are, some, there are so many groups of Kenyans living here in America. I know there are groups with a lot of scammers so avoid scam please because if a top person is wishing to host you, let him or her not ask you money. Don't give anybody money to host you. If a top person is wanting to help you, he will help you free of charge. So even if you are going to online platform to look those groups of Kenyan living in America, please take caution. Not everybody that is with those groups that, that is here in America. Others are in Nigeria, others in, are in Congo, others in, are in Sudan or any other country. And they are there to scam people but they are not here in America. So go to those group like there is this for women called call it some call itself Quitu. Go and text the go and inbox the group or, or the admin of the group. Elaborate your case or explain your case that you are looking for a host. Another thing that you can do is on Facebook in those groups there are person there are people that when a post is made they usually comment. I used to check their profile and first confirm this person live in America. I could first check their photos, uh, where they have taken their photo. I could see they have taken their photo in Miami Beach, in New York, and I truly know that this person is in America. Then the second thing I could text them, I could inbox them. Although some people do, does, doesn't want to be inboxed by the stranger, I have no, I had no option. I could inbox them and first apologize for entering their inboxes without permission and then the next thing, I explained myself and some responded so kindly, although some never responded, but I don't care about those who didn't respond. Some responded so kindly. So the first step that I took is to go to Facebook, find those American, find those groups that have the people from my home, like I'm from Kenya. I, I could find Kenyan churches in America, Kenyan churches in Seattle, Kenyan churches in the, in Maryland, Baltimore, and I could saw the pages, I could text, the, I could text in that page or I could find some people that usually post a lot or comment a lot in those pages that are based here and I could text them and ask them to, to host me and like I said before I could also text the group in a group like group green card lottery 
Kenya, there is a group like that. I take, I posted uh, my post there. I did that not because I wanted to, but because I had no otherwise. I can get a host. Another place that you can get a host is if in your village, if you know a family that has a person that lives here in America, if you know a friend that knows a person who lives in a, here in America, we know a person through another person. So when that time come, talk to them, talk to that village person, talk to that family, talk to that person you know knows a person. Tell them your kids and explain them to your kids. Don't fear because you are doing it because you have no option. Maybe those through those people, that's how you the, the, the information we reach to other people. You might tell, you might like, let me give an example. You might know a person A who know a person B who is in America. And that person A gives you another person B who is in America. That person B might, ha, might host you directly or might fail to host you because of some reason. Some might be understandable because not everyone who is in America, here in America, in America is eligible or capable of hosting you. Some do, doesn't have the required documents. Some, they can't be able to cater you and cater for themselves because of some, some goes through hardship here still. Because you, you don't know, there are some re many reasons that if a person tells you that he can't host you, others may be refusing, but others may not be refusing. They might be having like, let just assume a family of five people here in America and they are depending on one salary of maybe a husband. And you, you are there, you have two children and you want to relocate them for them to host you. Somehow, making it a family of seven people and the salary is too small, they may say like, they, for them it's like a burden. So they may fail to host you because the salary they are depending on the money they have it's only it's only meant to cater for the to, to 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 cater for their bills or to help them earn a living but they can't add other people in their home so there are so many reasons that but there are some who can but they just kind to the world so that's why i'm saying Talk to people. Maybe if you know in your village there is a person who lives in America, try to reach them out. Try to reach them through their family members or the, through their mother. If you know you have a friend or somebody who knows someone in America, talk to them, but not now. Not now. If Talk to them after you have won your kids. And another, the, the last thing, if maybe you know Facebook brings you people that you don't know, add Fred, add Fred. If you see somebody in America, just add him, add, add, add Fred. Be commenting in his post. You know you will gain that trust, and you, because after that, after you have one green card, it will be very easier for you when you text that person and told told he tells him um, this and this. Uh, you know, and I'm looking for a host. I want a green card. That person because he will have saw you several times in his comment, in commenting his post, writing his post. It will be easier for you for him to host you or her, for her to host you because at least you she you have gained her trust or you have get you she she know you a bit than like the way i did when i won i could pop out to strangers message the, the, to to people's inboxes in facebook they have never seen me they have never seen a person like me in facebook it's their first time so it was very hard for them to host me because they didn't know what type of a person is this but just imagine if i had a friend like we could an American friend who lives here, maybe from my country, but that we could have talked for a while, like one year, two years, three years. I could be commenting his Facebook. So it could be easier for that person to host me because I have gained a trust in him or her. So that that is another way. So and another way you can still use these YouTubers, like I'm here. Maybe there is a time that we, I will be eligible to host somebody, like when I get papers. Right now I'm still processing my papers. I like to tax transcript. Maybe I will file my tax transcript next year. Maybe I file trans tax transcript next year. I will find a bigger house more than this. So there will, term, there will come a time I will also host a person. Maybe you can also try to reach these YouTubers. Some of them can host you or some of them can help you find somebody who can host you. If you doesn't know anybody in Facebook, if you doesn't doesn't know anyone in your village, try reaching this YouTuber. So there are so many ways you can try to find your somebody to host you. But all in all, I know one thing: if God helped you to win green card, He can't leave you. Your dream be wasted because of lacking a host. I know one thing that 
one thing lead to another. So for now, apply for green card. If for those who are waiting for their resort to come in and you don't have a host, I pray that God will provide one for you. I pray that God will pro provide a host for you, a, a genuine host, a person who can assist you with wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, without using you. And final, final remarks, as I'm saying, because you have won, you are a single person, don't accept some offers or some exchange of the kindness of your host with marrying anybody. Because let me tell you, once you accept to marry someone, chances of getting denied your visa are high. Like if you had a person in your... automatic take automatic denial because you now you didn't help the person that you're adding in your duet to 60 to relocate with you and you yourself you have wasted your money you have wasted your time because of your stupidness so please if you win green card then somebody comes in your inbox and tell you add me i will help you find a host add me and i will help you with this amount of money tell them i can do it without your money i can do it without you hosting me because if if god of prince ja kenya made it for him without money without knowing anybody the same god can do it for me without money without knowing anybody in america not a must and if you are willing to host me let it be genuine share the kindness without costing anything that is it but don't accept anyone to come and use you because you are desperate, desperate looking for a host to marry their sister, to marry their brother. Not, not only did this come to tell us to marry them, by the way, even there are some gentlemen that usually tell three ladies, marry me, let, let me allow me to marry you, then we shall process this thing together. There is this gentleman that I saw in a Facebook group telling me, asking for any lady who won green card and who is ready for that guy to marry him so that they can relocate together that is nonsense it will cost you it will mess up how can you marry somebody you don't know how can you marry somebody you don't have a tie with somebody you don't have hauna mapenzi kwake i know marriage is all about love you know if i love you yeah in a cost for me to have you so but not this thing of uh, help me relocate to america then when we get there we shall divorce who told you divorce is that easy that you, than you, that that you think Earlier before it was very easy, but nowadays it is very complicated. USA government usually does a background research, a background research, and it can cost you. you can yes relocate here, but later along it will mess up with your citizenship when you will be maybe want to change your status from permanent resident to citizen. That small and slight mistake can cost you in your future. So I don't want to talk much. I have talked much already, so God bless you. Thank you so much. If you have a question, reach me out on comment section, reach me out on my Facebook, and I will also continue to ask you, please subscribe, share this video, and turn on the notification button, so that next time I, I gonna post a new video, you're gonna be notified. Thank you so much, my guys. Bye-bye, my friend.